Hello, and welcome to a documentary featuring Frederick Holm, one of our world's modern living legends. To find out the most about Frederick Holm and his influence on the planet, we come here to the United World College in Montezuma, New Mexico, host to students from over 90 different countries, where they come to learn about arts, the humanities, math, science, music, and Holmesian study. Let's go find out what some of these students have to say about their knowledge of Frederick Holm. Dude, wasn't he like that guy from, like, Tennessee? Yeah, he was a big rocker, yeah. I know who you're talking about now, yeah. Didn't he have that place on Graceland? It's like, oh yeah, with the hip thing, too. Yeah, that was totally cool, man. He was psychologically disturbed. He had a mustache. Um, he was always doing this. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, he was, he did really crazy and bad things, really horrible things. Okay, he was that guy who was like so amazing that, you know, everybody should look up to him as a hero. Oh and God. I think he was the guy who actually sang songs inside of a bag with his wife in some sort of protest of um, racism and other prejudices. Hey, wasn't he the guy who self-proclaimed that he's the world's policeman? I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and he also invaded countries um, and just proclaimed that they have weapons of mass destruction, which were never found. Interesting, that. Isn't that that guy who was, like, incredibly good-looking and he was in that movie in, like, Tibet or something? It truly is clear that Fred means different things to different people. Well, here's what Frederick Holm means to me. When I think about Fred Holmes, I think about three things. Loyalty, cheerfulness, and bravery. All three of which are major components of the Scout Law. Fred, uh, Fred has gone on many trips with us in the Outdoor Adventure Club uh, at Spring Valley High School. And if it's one thing that's for sure, it's that when you're in the woods, you can count on Fred. When you're tied into the other end of a rope on a rock climbing wall, you can count on Fred. When you're on the river and he's in his kayak, you can count on Fred. He is very, very loyal. He will be there to keep you safe. He will be there to help you laugh and have fun. He's just that much of a trustworthy and loyal guy. And he won't desert you uh, when you need him. And uh, I think that if you ask any member of the Outdoor Adventure Club, they would vouch for that and they would say that that's true. Another aspect of Fred that everybody loves is his cheerfulness. And to me, this meant the most when in my biology classroom, um, the second floor of Spring Valley High School, um, Fred would come into my classroom a good bit on a daily basis. And uh, it, would, it, you would be obvious, it would be obvious to you as you looked at his face that he had no idea um, why he was coming to your classroom or what you guys were going to talk about. Uh, he would fiddle with his ID tag and start off every sentence with, So anyway and you really didn't even know where the conversation was going to go, but by the end of it, you knew that you were going to be laughing pretty heavily. And, uh, and you could always count on Fred for that. Fred's a really cheerful guy, and I think that he kind of brightens the world around him because of that. Um, the last thing that, that really comes to mind uh, with Fred is his bravery. And earlier I mentioned um, how loyal he is, and you can count on him, especially when you're on the river and he's in his kayak. And it's also in this setting that I see his bravery um, become manifested the most. Um, I've never seen anyone else that, that I've come in contact with take so much self-control over themselves when they find themselves in a certain outdoors situation as I have seen with Freddy. Um, Fred acts one way at school, um, which is kind of giddy and silly and all that kind of stuff, but you get him in a boat and he is serious and he means business. And the most amazing things that I've ever seen uh, people do or when I've seen Freddie doing some crazy stuff in his kayak, launching off of a rock 20 feet above the Nantahala River in his boat. You know, he's doing like the, what they call a seal launch, or doing an Eskimo roll in really cold water, or going to uh, help someone that's become overturned in their kayak or in their canoe get righted again and stuff like that. Fred's amazing in a, in a boat, and his bravery is astounding. Um, and I think that this bravery and this cheerfulness and this loyalty that he really exudes and that he... 
he uh, that that are manifested in him are going to serve him well uh, in life. Um, any member of the Outdoor Adventure Club would be able to attest to any of those character uh, character attributes of Fred, um, as well as as well as I can. Um, Fred, I wish you all the best, and I think that the world is going to be a better place now that you are an Eagle Scout. And I would challenge you uh, to say that um, I hope that you take everything that you've learned up to this point with you, and I hope that you remain an Eagle Scout in spirit and in action for the rest of your days. Um, good luck, bro.